Today we're going to disassemble, clean, lubricate, and reassemble a Mossberg 500 pump shotgun. This particular shotgun has the 18 and a half inch home defense barrel on it. You may have one of several barrels on there. There's several different barrels that the Mossberg takes, so the procedure is going to be the same. First thing we want to do is verify that the chamber is empty. There is no round in the chamber, and there are no rounds in the tube. First thing we want to do is press the action lock lever. Move the forearm all the way back, closed, and then move it forward to the bolt is about halfway in the ejection port. And simply unscrew the takedown screw on the front till the threads are clear, and then pull the barrel off. You may have to wiggle it back and forth a little, but the barrel should come right off the front of the gun. Next, we want to remove the trigger housing, which is this assembly right here which is held in by a pin that is right here. So we want to remove this pin, it goes all the way through. So a couple ways to do that. You could put the gun upside down like this. You want to get a 5 30 seconds punch and just push this pin out from either side. Or what I like to do, I have a smart bench block which I use to push pins out. This way I can push down on it and the pin will have a place to go into this hole here. I would just put it on something like this and this pin will probably push out. Push down on the pin and it'll come out like that. If it doesn't you can tap on it with a small hammer and then just pull that pin out and now your trigger housing just lifts up out of the bottom like that. Uh, the manufacturer does not recommend disassembling any further. And be careful not to press the trigger on this while it is outside of the gun because the hammer will come up and it could do some damage. After you remove the trigger housing, there's going to be a couple of pieces that are kind of just sitting in there loose at this point. So you want to take a look at how they're sitting in there. This is, okay, this piece here is called the cartridge interrupter. So it's just a kind of a kind of a bar it fits into this hole so if you if you tip it over likely it's going to fall out so that's going to be this piece it was sitting in here lined up like that so you can just pull that out and your cartridge stop sits on the other side and that's just kind of flop in there as well all right so that's going to come out now be before you go any further you just want to take a good look at how things are kind of sitting and that's the way you're going to want to put them back when you reassemble so next we want to remove this bolt slide you can move the forearm or you can just push it with your finger you want to get this to sit right here with this edge between these two frame notches and once they're right there this piece will this is called the bolt slide and this will lift right out just kind of take a look at how it was sitting in there now this is the bolt right here in the bottom now at this point you can just put your finger down in there and slide that right out the front of where the barrel was this is your bolt assembly next is going to be your elevator assembly and just lift this up so it's coming out a little bit. What you're going to do is squeeze the sides a little bit. And you'll see there's pins in the bottom that are going to come out as you squeeze that. And then this elevator assembly comes right out. Lastly, now we want to remove the forearm off the front of the gun. You can just slide that forward. And that's going to come right off like that. And that is your forearm assembly. Okay, and that is the disassembly of your shotgun. Now we're going to move on to the cleaning part. Here's some of the basic things that we're going to use. We're not necessarily going to use all of these things, but here are some of the things that I have on my gun cleaning bench. I have Original Gun Oil. It's a CLP, Cleaner Lubricant and Protectant. It will clean the gun as well as lubricate and protect it from corrosion. I have some patches here. These are specifically made for 12 gauge shotguns. An adjustable size rod here. It can make it longer or shorter with different sections. And it's got a copper brush 
Most gun kits would come with a rod and patches and copper brushes. I have Hoppy's number nine, which is a good all around solvent for cleaning guns. This is a Menda dispenser. It's made specifically for solvents and what it does, pumps up just a little bit of solvent at a time to make sure the rest of it doesn't get contaminated. Very, very handy and useful. Cut up t-shirts to use as rags for the gun as well as my fingers. These are my favorite cotton swabs. They have a pointy end and a regular end. So you can get it in all kinds of different spaces. Board snake this really speeds up cleaning the barrel if it's not terribly dirty inside real avid bench block great for knocking pins out of guns without scratching them for getting things apart pin punch kit with a bunch of different pin punches we only need one for this particular shotgun so those are some of the basic things that i have i have a nice mat here that i do everything on so everything is linked down in the description if you need any of these items all right to clean the gun it's really pretty simple basically we're going to take each piece and we're going to clean it up and then we're going to put the gun back together after a little lubrication. There's a couple of ways you can clean your firearm. You can use a gun solvent like, like Hoppy's number 9. I like to put it in a pump dispenser like this. You just pump up a little bit of it at a time so you don't get it contaminated. You can use a CLP, Cleaner Lubricant Protectant. I use Original Gun Oil. This is basically an all-in-one. It'll clean and lubricate and protect. Another way you can do it is you can take it out side out in the garage and use a spray cleaner which i'll show you that as well if you're going to go the solvent route you want to get yourself some rubber gloves you want to get some cotton swabs so basically i'm just going to take each piece the smaller pieces you, you can use a cotton swab clean them off basically pretty simple just clean all the crud off get some paper towels or some cotton rags and wipe them down that one's done now another one get this one it's a little bit dirty wipe it off so that's one way to do it using solvent i clean these with a spray cleaner just to show you uh, how well that works and i'll show you that next one other way that you can quickly clean your shotgun parts to go out in the garage get some birchwood casey gun scrubber basically you just come out here i hold it over a trash can and i just spray it down real good and this is going to forcibly remove all of your dirt and carbon buildup. It's gonna go right into the trash can and it evaporates fully so it doesn't leave any residue of any kind. And you can let it drip dry or you can go ahead and just use a paper towel. You still have to let it dry so it evaporates out of all the nooks and crannies, but this is gonna do a really quick job. This is the bolt slide as well. I'm just gonna hose that down. Good here. Make sure you wear gloves. And you can do that for all your parts. I'm just going to use this as a demonstration of how this works. It's another way to clean your guns. Birchwood Casey Gun Scrubber. Great stuff. There's a link down in the description. If you're going to use the CLP route, uh, like the original gun oil, I would get some cotton rags and a brush. And what I do there, put a couple of drops on each piece, kind of spread it around with a brush. Once you get it kind of coated with the CLP gun oil, you can let it sit for a few minutes, then take a cotton rag and just wipe it all down. The beauty of the CLP is after you wipe it down, it's already got a light coating of lubricant on it. So that's gonna help with corrosion protection as well as lubrication. Then I'll get the stock part here. So you could use solvent or the CLP. Since there's areas here where things are going to be sliding, I'm gonna use the original gun oil here. Basically, I'm going to put some drops in there. Not too liberal, but I'm going to just kind of spread it around because this is just for cleaning right now. Get the brush in there to get everything coated with the cleaning oil. You want to let that sit for a few minutes and then just come back with the rag. Wipe everything down with When there's slots or notches, you can put the rag over top, then get the brush and kind of force the rag down into those notches. And that's gonna help clean in all those notches that you see there. Once you get that pretty good, get your cotton swabs out. Just get in all the tight spaces with the cotton swabs. Get this area nice and clean. All right, and then you can take a drop of oil, put it on the rag, kind of wipe down the tube, wipe down this part. Original gun oil is safe to use on all gun materials, including wood stocks, synthetics, and all that. Forearm, same thing, 
These are going to be sliding inside, so I tend to want to use the CLP to clean these. Make sure they got a little bit of lube on them as well as nice and clean. All right, just kind of get that cleaned and wiped off. This is the trigger housing. They don't want you taking this apart at all, so I would just take a good look at it. This one doesn't look like it's got much buildup on it anywhere. Just gonna kind of brush things a little, get them clean. If I see any buildup anywhere in here, I can use the cotton swab, get in and just kind of get the cruddy buildup off the outside. The Mossberg manual does not say anything about lubricating this either. This looks good. Everything looks to be in good shape here. All right, now we're going to talk about cleaning the barrels. There's a couple ways to clean the barrel. The good old standby way to clean the barrel, that is by using the rod and patches method. So you'll need patches, a multi-part rod. They come apart in, in sections, so you can make it as long or short as you want. And it's got a little holder on the end here. There's also something called a jag, which is just a point, which you can use also to push your patches through. So the idea of the rod and patches is you want to take appropriately sized patches. Now these are full size for a 12 gauge shotgun. You put your patches through there. We're going to push this through the barrel, but first we're going to soak it in solvent. So you just pump up the solvent, get the patch pretty wet with solvent, and then simply push the wet patch through the barrel. Comes out the other side. Go back and forth a couple times. We, right now we just want to wet the inside of the barrel with solvent. All right, so we've got the inside of the barrel pretty wet with solvent. You want to let that sit for a little bit. You want to get a copper or bronze brush. Comes in most gun cleaning kits. Put that on the end. And then after your barrel's been sitting for a few minutes, just run the brush. A couple of times. It's going to help loosen any build, build up that's in there. Put your patch loop back on there. And then just push some fresh patches through there until it comes out relatively clean. Get the patch pretty damp. Put it through there. You'll see how much the, the brush really loosened up a lot of dirt. So you just want to keep doing this. All right. Keep getting fresh patches through there. If your patches aren't big enough or they're not tight enough, you can put two patches in here. It'll rub a little harder on the sides and it'll, it tend, it'll tend to pick up more dirt per pass that way. So once you put a bunch of wet patches through there, you want to start putting some dry patches through there to get all the solvent cleaned up. And then just keep using new patches until you're happy with how clean it is. That's not bad at all. And lastly, you want to get a patch, a few drops of oil on there. We don't want to leave a lot of oil in the barrel, but we do want to leave a little residue. That's going to help prevent rust, especially if you're going to be storing your shotgun anywhere. And we're just going to kind of push that through. Make sure there's just the slightest residue of oil around the inside of the barrel to prevent rust. Now I'm going to show you a shortcut to cleaning the inside of the barrel. The shortcut is what's called a bore snake. This is just a long string with a bunch of material here. This one's made specifically for 12 gauge and it has built in brushes right here. So you can use this dry without any kind of cleaner or you can put some cleaner in there first, let it sit for a few minutes and then just run this bore snake through the barrel. And this is going to clean the inside of the barrel brush it and then it's going to follow up with a bunch of material that's just going to pull all the dirt right out with it. So this is a real nice shortcut. Just run this boar snake through there a couple of times. I'll put a link down in the description for the boar snake. I have a boar snake for every caliber of gun that I own which is quite a few. You want to repeat that for all the barrels that you have and then when you're done the inside of the barrel just a drop on a rag and just wipe down the outside. 
with some CLP. That's going to give you some good rust protection. The original gun oil is non-toxic, so this isn't going to be a problem on my hands. The Hoppy's solvent is a little bit harsher of a chemical, so I definitely use gloves when you're using that. So that's it for the barrel. I'm just going to do a similar thing on the forearm. It's got this tube here with the solvent just to make sure that the inside of this is pretty clean. Okay. As you can see, not much dirt in there. It's good, so we're just going to take a dry patch. Kind of. And just like we did with the inside of the barrel, I'm going to put some gun oil on this patch. Just a little bit of lubrication inside there, and we're good to go. Now that we have every part cleaned, we're going to lubricate. The manual recommends an extremely light coating of lubrication on the parts that move and internal and external parts to prevent rust, and that should be enough. So what I recommend and what I do with my shotguns, I'm just going to take a drop or two of original gun oil on a rag, and I'm just going to do a real light wiping of most of these parts, especially parts that move, which is almost all of them just to get the lightest residual coating of oil on all the parts. We don't want a drop of oil anywhere per se, but we want everything to have a little residue on it, especially any place where things are going to be moving back and forth. And I'm going to do that with every part. So that's all the lubrication Mossberg recommends. Just a little bit there. You'll want to make sure that this pin at least was wiped with some lube so it can come out easily next time. I'm going to do the same thing. One drop along all the slide areas in here. And I did use gun oil to clean the inside here so it's probably got enough of a residue in there. All right, so now we're going to reassemble the Mossberg 500. So first we want to take, take the frame like this, take the forearm, and slide it on the front. This part's a little bit tricky. You want to line both of these arms up into these slots. Once you get them both lined up at the same time in those notches, you might have to fiddle with them a little bit until they slide in like that. Now you want to take the elevator assembly this way. Put the elevator in just like this. Squeeze this together. Put it down into those pins like that. All right, now that's in place. Now we want to take the bolt. Goes in this way. Just kind of drop it in there and then you can kind of slide it all the way to the back. That way you get it past the ejector right here. So it's going to sit in there like that. See how the slot lines up. All right, now we want to put the, the bolt slide back in. So in order to do that, you want to lift up the elevator a little bit, slide the bolt to right there, the back of it lined up with this slot in the back, and then the forearm, you want to be lined up just like that, with this notch, not in too far, you want the notch lined up just like that. Now you can take the bolt slide, and it drops in this slot right here. And then just move the forearm a little till it drops in just like that. Move it a little bit forward so it doesn't pop out. Next thing we want to do is put the cartridge interrupter back in. Goes in on that side. Hold that in while you go lean it forward. Put in your cartridge stop. All the way up to the front so that those curved sides are both all the way up front like that once you get them in you kind of got to keep pressure kind of hold them together like that 
Now you're going to put your trigger housing assembly back in. This way. Shouldn't need much force to put that in. You should be able to just kind of hold it in like this. Insert your trigger housing pin. You might have to move this up and down a little to get that in. But once you get it pretty close, you can just lightly tap it in. All right. Now that is in. Then your barrel lines up like so. Just pushes in. Tighten your takedown screw. All right. Now you can kind of work the action back and forth. Feels good. Now we want to go ahead and do the function and safety check. I'll link to the video up in the corner here. You want to do that before you take it to the range. All right. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and check out all the items in the description below.